Hi everyone, it's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. Uh, today is Friday, November 3rd. Is it the 3rd or the 2nd? I think it's the 3rd. No. Yes, 3rd. Okay. Um, so, I have a market this weekend, tomorrow and Sunday. Um, so, I did not get any plushies made at all this week. Uh, I've been running my embroidery machine all week because I need to get my money back out of the machine I bought in January. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you what I made this week. Yeah, and no plushies surprisingly, but I wanted to get some more bags done and then I also made, I did crochet some coffee cozies but I did not crochet any plushies. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I made. Um, I also did a little bit of filming of my machine running too. Um, so I'll like throw that in the mix as well. All right, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll get started on this video. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is all the zippered pouches that I got made um, because um, my market tomorrow and Sunday it's an official um, Christmas market so um, I was really low on the medium size bags so I pumped out a bunch of bags and I think these ones are so cute like I love this fabric um, so I got two of these ones done I got three of these ones done and I love this one as well. I like this one so much I did make one in the bigger size which I will show you in a minute. Um, I pumped out a bunch of Nova Scotia tartan um, because I ran out of these last market. So I made eight of these, three with yellow zippers and the rest with uh, royal blue uh, zippers so I got some of those done then I made some sloths because I sold out of my sloths and this fabric is so cute I think I just got that fabric at uh, Walmart um, and then this is the new fabric that I thought was really 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 cute as well and I hope that they're going to be popular and sell well I only did one of the medium size of this and then the rest are all Christmas um, fabric as well. So those are my medium size bags. Um, I only did two of the larger bags but I just wanted to show you the, the size difference. So these I sell for $15 and these have a little tassel and a key ring. Um, all my bags are lined inside. Um, these ones are medium and I sell these ones for 10. Um, I haven't made any of the small ones but they are just a little bit smaller than this one and I sell those ones for seven. Um, so I did these two in the larger size and I just love this fabric. I think it's so cool. I just haven't had time to make more. Um, so that's what I got done in uh, zipper pouches um, and those I do right on my embroidery machine then I crocheted a bunch of coffee cozies and these little felties I ran on my embroidery machine I, I run them on felt and then I cut them out and then I hot glue them on um, so this one it says I run on coffee and bad words and I embroidered them in colors that match the yarn that I do. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of these. Um, and I love this saying, I think it's so cute. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna package these. Um, 
I think I'm gonna go online and see if I can find a template for a coffee mug and like a cardboard sleeve and maybe package them in cellophane keep them you know dust free and that kind of thing but I love this red glitter yarn I don't know if you can see it on camera um, so I made those and then I bought another file with little gnomes on them and he's holding a little snowflake so I thought these are super cute so I got one two three four five I got six of these and I just love this um, coffee cozy um, I bought the pattern on Etsy I'll link it in the description I'll also link the embroidery files as well because some of y'all might have an embroidery, embroidery machine out there so that's it's so much fun like um, and then I bought this pattern um, a couple days ago and it's a little Highland cow isn't it cute it's so cute um, these are just um, coffee cozies that I had laying around that were uh, blank um, so I just glued these on but I do want to make some coffee cozies that are like red and green um, more Christmas colors you know but I just thought these were so cute so I just um, I run those on felt I I will add a little video of my machine running so you can see it in action but you just run it on felt and then you just uh, you cut it out and then I hot glue them on to my my coffee cozies aren't they cute I think they're so stinking cute and Highland cows seem to be in right now like the last market that I did I seen lots of Highland cows so I thought you know what I'm gonna buy a file and make some cozies and glue these on so that's all that I've made so far this week um, I did buy another embroidery file I actually have off to the side the machine in the middle of running that um, it's close to 8 o'clock p.m. so I probably won't have any cozies made with this design um, for tomorrow's market but I should be able to get some run tomorrow after my market and have some for my Sunday's market so I will um, include pictures of those coffee cozies um, in the mix with this video and I'll sh take some footage of my market on Saturday and Sunday and I will add that to uh, the video as well but yeah I did not get any any plushies made at all this week um, I feel like I have a good amount of plushies and I really want to um, start using my embroidery machine I bought it in January and it cost me a lot of money and I I need to start making my money back on my embroidery machine so I thought I would just focus on some coffee cozies and I think these would be really cute and I'm excited to see how they do I will let you know we'll talk to you later so I just thought I would jump on and show you a little bit of my machine running my little Highland cow felties and I can't wait to see what these look like cut out and glued on my coffee cozies. I think these are going to be so cute. Uh, so there's nine steps to this embroidery file. I can run nine cows at the same time. It's 31,000 stitches and an 80 minute run. So yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to charge $10 for these coffee cozies. I think the time and, you know, work that goes into them, I think they're worth $10 a piece. 
Um, so I will let you know how I may go at my market this weekend. I just thought I would jump on and show you a little bit of the machine running. I'll come back once this run is done. Okay, my cows just finished being embroidered. Let's see if I can get my Okay, I'm just gonna push the machine back bring these out here. Aren't these flipping cute? So cute. Okay, so I'm going to unhoop these, tr trim up any little um, thread stragglers. I'm going to fussy cut out the cows and then I will glue one onto a coffee cozy and I will be back to show you that. These are adorable. Hi everybody, it's market day. It's Saturday, November 4th at eight in the morning. Uh, I just pulled up to the venue, so I'm just going to unload everything, take it in, set up my table. Um, I'll take a little bit of footage for you. And then um, I'll come back and let you know how I did. And then I'll do uh, the same thing again for tomorrow because I'm back here tomorrow. Um, so the market's from 10 to 3. So I will be back at the end to show you how I did. All right. See ya. Okay. I'm all set up. And I think this is as good as it's going to get. So I have my zippered pouches. And I just kind of threw plushies down wherever I had room. So I decided to put out my sanitizer holders, my snap tabs, my lip balm holders. Just because there's a few crochet vendors here today. So, that's why I did that. And I threw down some turtles. I have my coffee cozies. I only put out a few. I'll just restock as I sell. I have my beaded spiders. I have my poop bag dispensers and those are all done on the embroidery sheet machine as well and then I have my plushies So hopefully I do good today and I'll, um, I don't think I'm going to walk around the venue and film just because mm, privacy issues and all that. So I'll come back and let you know how I make out. Okay, so my vendor friend is set up here and her vendor name is made with these two hands and her stuff is super cute. I'm just going to do a quick little... Like, I might have to come by this guy right here. Because you know me and my hockey. And I don't want to film in landscape mode because that just messes everything up on YouTube. But look at her stuff. So we got Toronto Maple Leafs, we got Montreal Canadiens, we got Philadelphia Flyers, we got the Vancouver Canucks, we got a little bit of everything. So if you're a hockey fan, then you've come to the right place. And look at her plushies. Aren't they cute? And she's got a Christmas tree set up. And look at her ornaments. And she's got lots of hockey. Hockey stuff. It's so cute, you guys. So if you live in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, Cole Harbor, come on down and say hello. 
And look, we even got Woody, the talking Christmas tree. Okay, I may be back for this guy. Okay, I had to buy him, he's mine. He's going in my craft room. His name is Wendell, and you know for who, Wendell Clark. He Okay, I thought I'd jump back on. Um, I had my market yesterday. Um, I think I'm going to wait until after the market today to tell you, like, how I did. Um, but after my market yesterday, um, I made some more felties on my machine. So I made these ones. Aren't they cute? And um, my Highland calves I already showed you, but I love these. Um, so while I was watching my hockey game last night and they lost, buggers, um, I just made a few Christmas coffee cozies and I love how they turned out. Um, I don't have a lot of Christmas colored yarn, so I might sneak into Michael's after my market and um, pick up some more yarn because I'm out of the green glitter that I bought last year. I did manage to find some white sparkle yarn at Walmart yesterday after my market, so I picked that up, but I would like to get some more green. I have a big ball of red glittered yarn, but um, um, yeah, so I made some coffee cozies. I only got four done, um, but I just thought I'd show you. Look how cute this is. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, love it. Um, yeah, and then I have so much of this faux fur, I decided to make a cozy just red with the white faux fur and I am going to make a bunch of these because I think these are so stinking cute and I, I like it just on the top you know I don't want to go too crazy and add it on the bottom but um isn't that cute oh um I only sold one coffee cozy yesterday and it was the the teal one with the Highland cow, a little girl bought it, so I'm, I'm assuming she bought it for her mom. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I want to make a few more of these. I have I have four more cows and four more of these, so I'll probably make eight more cozies, um, and then I'll probably just stop there and restock as they sell because. Um, these did not sell well for me last year either. And I only had them at $10. Like, I don't think that's unreasonable at all. I mean, a lot of work goes into these felties and, um, like, they're a good size. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know why they're not selling, but maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I sell any today. Um, so I will let you know after my market today, how I did yesterday and how I do today. So I'll be back later. Hi everybody, it's market day two. Today's Sunday, March, March. <laughs> oh, it's November 5th. Oh, I, I'm still not awake, I guess. <laughs> um, so I just pulled up to the venue. I'm ready to go in. Um, I will let you know how I did yesterday, and I will let you know how I did today. Um, I just figured it was better just to, to do all the breakdown at once. Um, I'm not going to bother showing you my setup because I just left everything here. Um, I did bring some faux fur and white yarn. I'm going to add some white faux fur to the top of my existing coffee cozies that I have on my table. So I thought I'd just add some, because I love the, the fur. It looks so cool. Um, so yeah, I will be back later. Bye! I couldn't resist filming because there's a dog in front of me and he's so cute. So cute! Look at the little dog! Dog. In the backpack. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he's yes. so cute. <laughs> so there's about an hour and 20 minutes left to the market. Me and Wendell are just chilling out here. He's keeping me company. 
It's my good luck charm. I'm gonna take him to every market. Hi everybody. Um, I just got home and had supper. Um, had my two day market this weekend. Um, so I just wanted to go over some of my um, items that I sold and what I made and everything. Um, so day one, um, so it was a two day market and the table fee was $75 for the whole weekend. So I took that fee right out of day one. So that day two, whatever I made was, you know, more of a profit because I took my table fee out of day one. So day one, my best seller was my turtles. I did over $110 just in turtles. Um, and then everything else, it was just like onesies and twosies. Um, I sold, mm, yeah, it was like one duck, one chicken, one dino, one whale. I sold like a couple of Christmas beaded spiders. Um, I sold $25 um, in my zipper pouches. Um, mushy boys, the little tiny mushy boys, I did uh, $24, so I th sold three of those. But it was mostly like pretty random, um, except for my turtles. I did over $100 just in my turtles, so that's really good. I mean, I have a lot of turtles, so. Um, so day one, I did... Uh, I did $469. Um, my table fee was $75 and my square fees were $4.56. So I made $389 on day one. Um, I did $245 in cash and $224 in square. So if you don't have a square, I highly recommend it. It's it pays for itself within like one market. So that was day one. Um, today, day two, um, I actually sold, let me see, what was my best seller on day two? I just got my, my um, chicken scratch in front of me, but I know my own writing. So um, let's see, what did I do in turtles? Uh, I did $60 in turtles today. So, um, I did $40 in those little mushy boys. Um, I sell them for $8 a piece. Um, so I would say turtles were my number one seller and mushy boys were my number two seller. Um, I actually did, uh, my zipper pouches, I did $75. So I did a little bit better today in the embroidery than I did on day one. Um, I sold a cow, $45 today. Um, I sold him quite late in the day, so that was a nice surprise. Um, I sold two chickens, one $8 chicken and one $10 chicken. So the chickens are, you know, they're not doing that great for me. Okay, that's two less chickens that I have out of my posse gone. <laughs> um, I sold three of my $10 uh, Triceratops. Um, I sold one axolotl, one whale, uh, one mal, mal your duck. I can't say that word for some reason, but anyway, yeah, so I sold a little bit of everything, but turtles were number one, mushy, small mushy boys were number two. So on day two, I did $403 and no cents, just $403. Um, my square fees were $245. So um, I did $400 and 55 cents. I did 146 in square and 257 in cash. So out of my two day market, um, I made $872. Uh, my table fee was $75 and my square fees were $701. So in two days I made $789.99. So that's pretty good. That's the best I've ever done at a market ever. And I've been doing this for three years. So I can safely say that the plushies have 
the, you know, the crochet was my best um, seller out of my two-day market. So turtles, I did over, I would probably say $170 just in turtles. Isn't that crazy? Um, I sold a lot of small turtles too. Like, um, I think I only have one or two $15 turtles left. Um, I sold quite a few $25 turtles too. Um, I had one lady, she came and she bought a $25 turtle. And then she must have did a round and came back and bought another $25 turtle. And then she came back and bought two $15 turtles. So I'm like, oh, are these Christmas gifts? She goes, no, they're just for me. So she has a turtle fetish, I think. Um, yeah, so that's what I did this weekend. So pretty happy with that. No complaints here. Uh, my next market is November 16th. And it's just a two hour market at a, at a school just up the up the road, which I've ne I've never done before, so I don't know what to expect. But all I know is I got to get cracking with the crochet because I sold a lot this weekend. Like I'm almost worried I'm gonna run out of stock before the end of November, so I really got to get busy. So that's it for this uh, video. And I will be back next Monday with what I made this week. Um, I got to do a little bit of everything. Zipper pouches. I uh, want to make some more beaded spiders. And I need to pump out the crochet. So, we will see you next week. My dog is down here bugging me. Let's see. Say hi, Milo. Say hi. Say hello. You're crazy. Oh, yes, you crazy. Mm, mommy loves you, too. Mommy loves you, too. Yes. Mm, good boy. All right. We'll see you next week.